what is up you guys thanks for clicking on this video hanging out with me today is going to be a hair video i'm going to be doing a hair refresh this is two-day hair i washed my hair yesterday my natural hair gets oily pretty fast and it's fine and thin so for my natural hair washing it every two days having it fresh is best right now i have tape and extensions in and those can stay non oily since they're not connect connected to follicles for the longest time ever so one thing that i like to do is refresh the hair my natural hair and then recurl restyle it so that i don't have to wash my extensions like every two days i'll probably do it every three four days sometimes i'll put it in a ponytail by day three things like that but on day two i'll use some dry shampoo and i purchased this day dry shampoo from sephora and i have come to really really like it it smells so good it smells like grapefruit or something i'm not 100 sure but it also makes your hair smell good so it's almost like a hair perfume for your hair and it is a powder so it's not like your typical aerosol one which i've tried powder ones i had one from akira that i really liked but it was like a twist top with little holes on the top and i had to flip it upside down to apply it and the application method wasn't the best this one has a pump top so i really like that it's much easier to apply very user friendly it does absorb oils in my experience using it but again fresh hair is just always best but if you want like a little hair refresh try this out it's fairly you know it's like a cleaner product and it's really nice i've really come to really like it so i'll just apply a few spreads throughout the hair especially where i feel like it's getting kind of oily another tip is to apply this before head bed so that while you're sleeping when you naturally um you know produce oils and all that stuff you wake up with like refreshed hair something else i like to do and also your deodorant apply it before bed this will give you a white cast so you have to kind of like massage it in to get rid of that you can't just apply it and leave it but the smell i feel like they did a phenomenal job with the smell so i also like to apply it in between the tapes to kind of get rid of excess oils there as well because sometimes it can cause hair separation and then i'll do a few spritz here in the front because i feel like these front pieces get oily so fast and then just massage it in and you basically have refreshed hair Right now my hair is not that oily because I just washed it yesterday, but it works really well if your hair does have some oiliness to it. When I didn't have extensions and I just had my natural fine thin hair, I also used this as well and it worked wonders on day like three here even, but nothing beats freshly washed hair when it comes to <laughs> fine thin hair. It's very important to make sure you have a healthy scalp and sometimes product buildup can stunt growth it's not the best for your scalp and hair health for some people they benefit from washing their hair every day for some people they benefit from washing their hair once a week you know everybody's different it's not a one size fits all by any means but you just want to make sure you're taking care take caring of your hair the best you can the one thing i like about this is it has good ingredients it's like cornstarch yeah cornstarch few other ingredients some fragrance in here glycerin just minimal but pretty good ingredients i would say and if you want even more minimal ingredients look at the Acure one you can get on amazon the only thing is that one it doesn't have fragrance to it if you don't like fragrance that's a great option you twist the top open and it looks like a little mini baby bottle that's my chats on that and now all i do is i curl it so this is my t3 interchangeable barrel i can take out the barrels and switch them out i think this is the one and a half inch i believe and then it has like a two inch one and a one inch one but once i have the dry shampoo in i like to just recurl it because with tape ends they can get all wonky by the next day when you're sleeping in them i like to keep mine in a braid or a low ponytail so as i'm sleeping so i can't just leave them like this you can apply heat protectant and you probably should i personally curl my hair starting at the top open the clasp pull down open the clasp pull down and then hold it like this for a few seconds before i release the clasp and let it go i feel like i've just always curled my hair like this i know that some people do the whole um, curling under technique which hold on I'll show you guys basically the same thing when it comes to curling but it's how you release it when it's time to let go you kind of go underneath 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 and then let it go if you don't feel like curling it don't curl it if you don't like to do add heat to your hair everybody's different I don't ever feel like putting anybody down for their choices me i curl it because for extensions i feel like that's the best to look and extensions get wonky so i have to recurl them in order to give them some definition back that doesn't look crazy but if you don't feel like curling your hair just apply some dry shampoo call it a day everybody's different everybody likes different things this is just how i 
personally refresh my hair and then once the hair has kind of had time to cool down I personally just go in and brush it out. This is the Tangled Teaser Comb, the white tooth comb and it just works well to brush extensions out while still being gentle and that my friends is how I refresh my hair while having tape and extensions in. My curls are back to being beautiful and bouncy and yeah this was short and sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. I'll leave the link to the dry shampoo down below. Highly recommend trying it out if you haven't already. And thank you for hanging out. I really hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.